boys in pink and the girls in pink today. We need a match. It is so sweet. Yeah. Do you look nice? Look at your chicken. Look at your chicken. Come on. Come on. Come get your chicken. Come on. It's up with them. She doesn't understand. They're all, look, they're all watching. Oh, it's gone. It's it's already gone. She loves you. She wants chicken. It's too late for chicken. God, what a nice day it is. Who's that? Oh, pinky pink. Pink, pinky pinks. Don't, don't get your fingers in the way. I, I like it. Is it working? So exciting. Uh, you can cut, a lot, you just... cut some little. We just have endless. And I guess these things are very cheap here. Yeah, they they grow here. They don't grow in the United States. The yeah, grow, so he just makes a little hole. Apple, apple, orange, orange carrot. Okay, he, 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 he
Grab it that way, sweetie. I don't know why. It's interesting how they... Everywhere. Africa. You never saw? Uh, oh, we travel. Anya. What? What did she say? This is a little cafe that we wanted to look at, and they're open today. It's cotton candy. <laughs> It's so funny, we have so many people asking for photos and being very sweet, it's interesting. Here we go. So, um, before we go out though, do they broadcast or do, or do they um, or do they have a, um, is there a, a, an individual in each one who does it? I don't know. Gravestones, aren't they interesting? Well, I, I can't read them, but there they are. They're really pretty. So we wait. We were dancing in uh, in a an area where there's a mosque, and we just started a dancing in a square and having a really nice time dancing. And then uh, uh, people were making well, motions at us right and now. saying that we really couldn't trippy. dance and saying there's a mosque and then all these police grabbed us like like 10 of them came and grabbed us and, and dragged us away to the police station yeah and then they explained that they were just trying to protect us because people wanted to hurt us and then release us this place little bio <laughs> there she goes. There she goes.
Hello. 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 Do you like it, my country? Yes. Okay. Istanbul is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If he wants to give us tea, tea but I want to go home. Turkish tea We're fine. We're going to go home. We're tired. We're tired. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is we're not in danger. We just we just can't Yeah, but I can't discern. Yes, you can. We can't we can't play around mosques. We can't be maybe we just don't want to be around mosques. And that's fine. No. Uh, Balad is safe. Well, it's, there's no, uh, well, there is a mosque there, but, and you did play around it, but, I don't know. It, it seems to be the plaza itself. Yeah, it's a sacred, it's a sacred space, and they consider it to be a sacred right, space. Go over there. So, it, it's funny, though, that they considered us doing an LGBTQ protest, and we were just dancing. Doing my best. Yeah, don't really don't am. let it take you there. Right, but because it does. You it's, have to process it. Yes, but don't don't let it take you to that direction of that if the whole city hates you and you can't be yourself. experience somebody if somebody comes at me with a loud sound I I can and will use my superpower yes but my restraint in, in doing that is pretty good these days yeah very good um, but I was feeling that from one of the people who was yelling right and if you had yeah I I yeah. but I already was feeling something so I I didn't do that but I think he I just could have easily turned on him and just shut him down and it would have put you in major major danger yeah, exactly he could have attacked you yeah. that's what the police thought were going to happen and, um, I yeah right you're right so what's, what's happening for you now well, I have to dissipate all that force there it is right over there. So, um, <coughs> these three, um, problems with the, uh, with the, the, um, LGBT, this, the community. LGBTQ? <coughs> I'm, I, in, in a sense, I'm not, and yet I'm recognized as queer, so. Yeah. But I have, I have, I mean, I'm, I, I and who, what, what right do any people have to characterize the divine in, a, in another? Um, what happened today? We got up early. We did? Like when we, I, I like getting up early. I get up really early. What time do you get up? And then today I got up at around um, a little to six, maybe something to six, and I and I decided that I should get up because then I have time to do stuff, and then we can get out early. Hmm. Yeah, you have from like six to ten. Four hours. Well, six to nine thirty. Yeah, to do things. We can work out. Um, I can write a little. I can take a shower. Hmm. Yeah. And we had pancakes, and we went down to Balat. Yeah, it was very nice. We went to Balat and had smoothies and pancakes, and everybody was sweet and taking pictures of us and asking us, "Where are you from?" Where are you from? Yeah. Yeah, I was, and I'm feeling good. I was feeling good because we just had a, I had a walkabout 
when we had a walkabout together. But I, specifically for me, my walkabout was helpful in clearing and made me feel a little bit more comfortable in, Ist in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. um, Istan cats. Istan kitties. Um, so, uh, from that point, we, um, we had a meal. Yeah, and then we walked through, kind of retook the route that we took back, kind of going backwards through where Bunny did his walkabout yesterday and said hello to people. and Some people recognized us. Yeah, people recognized us from yesterday's big thing. And it was, a, what happened yesterday was really special. It's really amazing. Um, and then we, we, you had a, you were thinking we'd take the, um, it's a, a cable car, cable, um, suspended car ride up to something. I don't know what it is, but it, it's some place with a view. They're called gondolas here, actually. Gondolas? I, yeah. They seem, it seemed like an interesting little thing to do. It was a nice day and it'd be a pretty view. But then the line was too long. It was very long. Way too long. And it was very slow in the process. So they have two cars, basically two trams going. And thus each one of those whole, um, what are they, uh, gondolas, um, carried basically just about 10 people. Eight people. And there was probably a couple hundred people in line. So. It was stupid to wait. So we walked down. And you this... didn't have your parasols. No, I, I didn't have any shade, so I was not comfortable. So we walked down this little street, which ended up being quite sweet, and sat on a bench. And there were a lot of kiosks and people selling stuff, and some people like taking our picture in their shop, so they they have a little advertising. Yeah, it's, I f we find that. People, when they, people take photos of us, so they're taking it in front of their shops and they're doing like a video where they're like almost showing that we're there at their shop and you could, you should come to our shop because these interesting people, which we didn't, it's these people wanted a photo of us. The, the, they did it at, at every place. Every even place. Even people that, that we like, they did that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and we sat on a bench and had a really nice time just sitting and people watching and watch and people watching us yeah it was a, definitely a whole show and we talked a lot about burkas and religion and all sorts of questions that we have that yeah. are, will be forever unanswered and yeah, wondering why what what causes women in in islamic conservative traditions to decide to cover their entire bodies are they being forced to do that are they wanting to do that? Do they have, are they been, have they been brainwashed? What is it that's happening? Are they enjoying it? And then what's happening for them when they're seeing people like us? Yeah, they're seeing specifically people, a woman like you who doesn't, mm -hmm. who's very um, um, bird-like and flowery and, right. um, and adorned. And free and open with shaved head and all, and colored hair. Do they think that she's um, going to hell and they're, they're not? Yeah, are they thinking that I'm immoral or we're immoral by being colorful and being free? Um, or are they envious, are they hateful, are they judgmental, or are they secretly wishing that they could be that way too? Um, because it seems within culture, religious, really secular, uh, extremist cultures there are this you know you have to do it that the, the parents do it and the children do it it's there's really no choice mm. right so the boys have their reaction to me too yeah um, sometimes I feel like the reaction to me is stronger and sometimes I don't sometimes I, I, I it's hard to know really what's happening sometimes i feel like people give us the thumbs up and some people scream and make a racket behind yeah. her back and we don't know what they're saying which is yeah. great 
But yeah, we, we had a couple experiences today and in general where women, you know, very conservatively dressed women with heads covered, entire bodies covered, see me and go, what do they do? They go. They go. Which is. They love it. Which is a hand signal for that's cool. Huh? Yeah. It's their way of that's saying wonderful. that's, that's, that's great. Great. Yeah. They don't do this or this. They, they do this. So that's interesting. And. So they're very accepting. And what does that mean about them? Does that mean that they secretly wish they could be that way? It's an interesting know. thing, this, this signal. In, in, I, I have experienced that in, in other places as being a negative, mm. a negative thing. Like, what are you doing with that? What are you doing? So um, I've had to reinterpret that here yeah. in my own. Um, I, I'm not really sure why I had that kind of perception of it but I've been taught that it means I really like it or it's great by these beautiful people we've met at the corner yeah so and uh, for example it's the same as in uh, in Bulgaria they say yes yeah they, no yes yes da da and no <laughs> that's pretty funny yeah we had our friends tell us that so there's that thing to figure out in different cultures um so we're having that cultural interpretation thing that we and we have that all the time. Yeah, and people, people are having all sorts of thoughts and feelings about us, as we are feeling all sorts of things about other people, passing by. And it's really, it was very interesting to just sit on the bench and people watch. And it would be an interesting spot to go and play. Yeah. In violins. But we probably will. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're about to talk about is what, why we won't go back there. Well, that wasn't the area where the mosque was. Yeah, but that's I still. Anyway, then we were, we left that area and started walking, and we had a, a two. We had two places to go. We could go down a path, or we could go. Um, there two ways to go. You could have gone back to the tram and gone back home. Mm -hmm. We really, this was a decision. We decided to walk down this path that we'd not been to. And we came to this very big, beautiful square with a beautiful it's fountain. A gorgeous square. Yeah, Absolutely beautiful sunny wonderful. day. And it's just magical yeah. seeing it. Beautiful mosque there and all sorts of people sitting around. Yeah, it was just, a, and the, the ground, the floor was very, um, it was like marble maybe. It was very smooth. It could be marble. Smooth. Yeah, it was just a nice, nice just surface. Tiled wasn't completely smooth but we were kind of rubbing our feet on it and and seeing what it might be like to dance yeah, it felt like a definitely a beautiful surface to dance on yeah and it was very open space so it just seemed very welcoming and there were lots of people around and we're all dressed up so we have this experience whenever we go out that at any moment if we started to sing or we started to do anything that the whole the crowd will gather because they're just so fascinated by us. Um, so there was an area there which was shaded because she didn't bring her parasol, as I said. Yeah. And so I, I let's go over there. There's a shaded area on and, the plaza. Yeah, and I gave him the camera because I wanted him to film me dancing. And so I started dancing. And I wanted him to dance with me because I, I could feel your hesitancy. Yeah, I wasn't feeling my feeling about that place was there's something wrong here I don't know about dancing here and I resisted this even though she wanted me to and I always loved dancing I danced forever and I was not feeling good about it yeah and he, he would just dance he would you know in a space like that he would just start dancing yeah yeah there would be I wouldn't say dance with me he would just dance yeah and um so then I started doing my moon moon walk. Uh, so on the, pretty. And I felt really, I felt, oh, I'm loving this floor and enjoying myself. And um, did that get you going too? Yeah. yeah. And then you were moving through the space. It was just really beautiful how you looked. Yeah, I would have loved to see that. Yes. They, the, later we had to delete all of it. Um, and well, then... That's pretty, that's pretty, pretty, what is that called? Oops. Presaging the story. Yeah. So, so we ended up, as we started kind of moving away from the space and moving towards the fountain, we just 
We started walking. We did a double. We started yeah. doing a couple dance. Yeah, we, we did just a couple dance. Moving and dancing through the space, and it was really nice and magical. And I could feel, you know, people looking all around, and staring. Um. And we do. I feel like this happened for a little while. It was like me dancing, then you dancing, then us dancing. It was very much an ongoing, maybe five minutes. Of yeah, it was it was some time. It was some time. And then and then a man started shouting yeah. at us. In Arabic or in Turkish. Probably Turkish. And of course I, he was pointing at the mosque and, and going, you know, and so and I was feisty. I was fiery. I was like, What do you I, I said to him, I said, What do you mean we can't dance? You know? And I was I didn't flip him off, which I wouldn't ever do, but I was just, you, you know, wanted to I did, but I was just kind of <laughs> dismissive, and we turned and walked away. And, we well, could... and then, then, uh, then we saw a bunch of other people around with um, shaking heads and. Did we? Yeah. Oh, you uh, well, did. I did. Okay. And um, there were other voices, but uh, in myself, um, if somebody starts shouting, um, I get pretty mm. um, um, combative. I'm a very um, quiet but it, I'm a warrior um, and I felt that come up in me and then I pulled it down and we continue and but we I also felt that turning away and just walking away from this area was a good idea because it was feeling like it was escalating energetically yes it felt I, I yes as we as we had turned away and we're walking towards the um towards the fountain, which we were interested in, I was feeling definitely scared and spooked because I could hear people yelling. And this man that had initially yelled at us and he was very obviously saying something like, this is a mosque, how dare you? Um, and I, I think there was following. I think they were following. Yes, he, they were following. And I I had the camera on. I was eventually was had turned the camera on and had it facing me um, so I could you know, in case he attacked me or attacked Thoth, that I would have it on film. Um, so there was that anxiety as we were slowly walking. I didn't want to run because something could have, we could feel something was about to happen. <sighs> and then uh, we got, we were swarmed by a bunch of people. All of a sudden. And uh, a, a man grabbed me by the arm and, and he um, said, come with me and started pulling me away from the area. And um, I looked around and I noticed that there were uniforms on all the people around us. And uh, I, I recognized that as, poss as probably this is the police. And I did have a question of why would police be involved in this and um, what did we do, etc. Right. And what were you doing? I was very afraid uh, because I've I've read things. I've been relatively spooked recently about Istanbul, about being ripped off and scammed, and I've read stories about fake police and fake people with any kind of. They were not flashing badges, and the ones who were holding on to us did not have uniforms on and had not flashed a badge at us. They were just people. It was maybe three men behind us with uniforms on, but we were surrounded and we couldn't get away. Which, so I was really scared and I was feeling that, my feeling was that, um, oh, we're fucked now. They're going to take us to some random place and um, fine us this huge amount of money for having broken some kind of law or rule that we didn't know about. Or you probably didn't think since we didn't break any you were wanted to know if there was a scam going on and they were fake policemen and they were taking us somewhere to cause uh, trouble to us right because i knew once we were did, once we were in some space that they could do whatever they wanted to us and we were, were in a foreign country of course kidnapping all sorts of yeah i mean we'd strange have been, i didn't know who they were if, if i'd been alone and i was ready to just sit down and start crying i was really like very 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 afraid he said, I don't want to go. I mean, let's just stay still. Where yeah, are we walk I, going with them? And I kept trying to say, you know, I kept, of course, they don't speak English. They all spoke Turkish. And 
they couldn't they couldn't Especially understand. the guy that's what it was the guy who was hold, the holding my arm he did speak yeah and i knew that he spoke english because uh, he responded uh, to something very directly and was not of trouble understanding it and i knew that he was understanding us talking too oh. i remember what it was that he said that and responded to that sh told me that and it was true he did he was the most understanding of english of the group yeah so and you were telling me that i needed to be quiet and be calm and not resist i just needed to go with it which i was very much not wanting to do if i'd been alone if i was a woman single woman with having like seven men surrounding me dragging me away somewhere i didn't know where they'd be taking us um i didn't know who they were yeah it was it was a very um it was a very um, large group of people against us as two. Yes. And I felt that it was, uh, and seeing that there were uniforms, I was very much aware that I, that uh, going with the flow was the best way to handle the situation. Yeah. The, and any time that I tried to stop, which I did, I think, once or twice, that I tried to stop, and I said, "Look, what, what? Did, you know, I tried to ask questions." And they said, "No, no, 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 no," and they, and they pulled us, more forcefully. They're actually pulling me. Yeah, they were pulling Thoth. I actually they weren't touching me. They were very much like I, I was holding Thoth's hand, and they were just, I couldn't stop. I had to move forward. They weren't holding me. They were holding him. That's important to remember. Yeah. <laughs> so. So then they took us into the police station. And it was when you saw the police station that you calmed down a bit. Because yeah, because you realized that there is a police thing happening. Yeah. I, I, for the entire time. And they didn't walk us very far away from the mosque. Uh, but they didn't, they basically didn't explain what they were doing. They didn't explain who they were. They didn't explain what was happening. They just took us. They just walked us away. And there was no way to get away. There was nothing we could do. So I didn't, I literally had no idea what was happening. You were in a different position. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was just was more in the flow of it because there was, uh, I, I had felt that energy earlier in the shade about what was happening. Then the yelling of the man had gotten my, had gotten that thing in me uplifted. And now this person was grabbed hold of me with a, a 10 to 1, um, militant uh, group around and so in that case I just had to quiet my um, combative spirit yes and flow with it and um, and I from that place I was um, coaching you to calm down yeah and he you did you were, I was really helped me because I, I eventually I think I did calm down a bit but my my once we got to the station, my heart was completely pounding out of my throat, and I, I didn't, because I didn't know what was going on. Um, and I didn't either. No. Um. So once we got, they took us to this kind of um, secured outdoor space with a with a little place to sit. Yeah, picnic table. A little picnic table. And that made me feel a lot better, actually, because right. I realized that there was no uh, incarceration. There was there was just going to be just a little. A, chat yeah security of some kind yes but i still didn't know you know maybe they would have taken us somewhere afterwards or they were going to accuse us of something and they were very much saying a passport passport where's your passport and we've had that happen yeah. before with people in oh, yeah. passports yeah where are you from where are you from what what are you doing here who are you what are you you know um and not not really very good english being spoken you know so lost in translation a lot of the time um, and they took out, they all were taking out their phones and doing Google Translate to try and explain to us what was going on. Um, so the man who was holding on to you, mm -hmm. Muhammad, Muhammad who, who was doing the translating initially, and he showed me, I was just sweating and panicking and really, really afraid, but then he showed me his phone with the translation and he, it said something like, um, we took you away because... Uh, these people wanted to lynch you, and we took you away in order to protect you. And something about LG. They didn't say that yet. You know what this thing is? Hmm? LGBTQ. Can you say no, it? No. 
Algae bloom in the zone. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it, you don't know it's how to say mostly it. Mostly just queer. Yeah, queer community. It's just too many letters for me. Yeah. Um, I can do the alphabet backwards. Can you? Yeah. Let's hear it. Z O A X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. But I can't do that. LGBTQ. Isn't that funny? LGBTQ. It's some kind of it's blockage. Funny. It's funny. Um, so that when when they when they wrote that to me, then I was like, oh, I just it made me go like, wow, okay. Yeah, that really um, sobered you up a lot. Yeah, you calmed down yes, immensely after you read that. Yes. Because I had initially been very much in the space of feeling that they were our enemies, that they mm -hmm. were trying to, they were going to hurt us, they were going to do something to to us, they were going to fine us, they were going to do any number of, you know, eight men in 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 these, if not more, yeah, just tons of these people just suddenly hustling us away from the space without any explanation is just what we hadn't done anything wrong. We were just dancing, so. Um, but then that also showed what it is that we were perceived to be doing wrong. Yes. Um, some people really were upset with the fact that we were dancing in, in uh, the mosque, mosque square. Yeah, there's, and that, that square was, was where the mosque, big, one of the big mosques are. And Beautiful. It, it's an amazing space. And it's a very, Beautiful. And they were explaining to us it's, it's a sacred area for, for Muslims for Islamic people and you know it's dancing and playing music and all that is not allowed there it's very much frowned upon and they and they were asking also are you they asked the question they said were you doing what they thought was that you were doing a, a protest an LGBTQ protest um, and LGBTQ LGBTQ LGBTQ. I like that the spectrum would be all included in queer. Yes. But that's the way it is. Yeah, and 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 we said no, no, we just we were just dancing, and they said, "What what are you? Why are you dressed this way?" That's another question. Yeah. And. And that became a focused quest question. Very focused. Um. We're performers. Yes, and we. I said, they said, are you dancers? And he said, we're artists. We're musicians. I think that was the thing that was said. We're artists. Yeah. So they then. They were lightening up. Also, they yeah. Were, they were lightening very quickly. Very much. And once they once they explained that they were actually protecting us and said that we were in trouble, um, and, and I asked, also said, that, are what? We, you, we, right. I said, are we? It's a good question. Are we going to be, um, are we being detained? And they said, oh, no, 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 no. We just need to, uh, they, they explained through Google Translate that, no, they were not detaining us, that they were just protecting us while they were proving to the police chief that we were performers and we were not doing a protest. Um, so that helped a lot. That helped to calm us. I, my heart rate slowed down and... They also became very um, interested in us as performers. Yes, yes. Which was which was really funny and funny sweet and <laughs> cute, and it showed it turned out that they actually liked us. <laughs> you know, why? What's not to like? We're creative people. And as I I do believe that calming down and going with them really sweetly and kindly and and not being obstre obstreperous. What does um, that mean? Um, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I'm rough. I think that that helped a lot. I what think do you mean? that, that it, well, I said, let's go along, let's go flow, let's go. He didn't have any difficulty in getting us away, out of the area. Yeah. Um, we were very, um, we were just really uh, kindly in our, in our, in, I didn't go into any berserker mode. Right. Which is good, and so I didn't. We didn't go yeah. ballistic on them and stuff, so it well, was they, fairly easy yeah, to them. Right at the same time that we were afraid of 
we I didn't know what the fuck was going on. They didn't know anything about us. Yeah. They were very confused about what we were doing and why we were doing it. Yeah. And what we were doing there and if it was, you know, a problematic thing or if we were just it was just a like oops, maybe, you know, we didn't know mm. and we're tourists and we're just stopping through the country and we didn't know that you're not supposed to dance around a mosque. Um, so once um, once all of that was cleared up, they asked for our Instagram page, and they all followed us, which I and think... Also, they said, are you famous? Right, and we said yes. Immediately. Because we are. And that was, a, that was actually a good tactic and yes. behavior. Yes, because then they're, you know, they're, they're covering their asses because they don't want uh, to creative interesting looking tourist to get shot in the middle of this the square where a mosque is in in istanbul and uh, you know the the news and everything would just go crazy if something like that happened and it did happen in bulgaria that that <sighs> yes. but that when it doesn't affect their tourism and yet they were concerned about that they want they don't want people to look at bulgaria as a place where people yes they tourism is one of the most important um, ways for a country to make money, especially countries like Turkey and Bulgaria. Yeah. Um, so they were watching, and they're watching out for that. We're watching out for people's safety. Um, yeah. Oh, and they said they also explained, translated that we, the police are on tourists' side. We we love uh, travelers. We love. We love artists, Turkey loves artists, and then they explain to us a few different spots around Istanbul where we could play and where we could make donations. They were even cute. They showed us some pictures of people dancing in yeah, these streets. Us the little things. See people dancing. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can do this here, but not not near the mosques. You know, not in this area, not in this area, not in this area. You can do very, it here and here very and here. cute of them. Yeah. So we were now kind of giggling with each other and smiling at each other and we were was, laughing together by so the end nice. feeling very calm and safe safer yeah safer and but we were still there in the building but i wasn't feeling like we were going to be detained and i asked them again you know how much longer do we need to stay here and the man who had um heavily held off and carried him away he said oh five minutes you know and we learned at that time also that everything was pretty much directed at me. Yes. It, it came from a, a statement of they were going to do something to him if we didn't get you out of there. Yes. They didn't say both of you. They didn't speak about They didn't say you guys or any, they, him. Yeah. And I took that. I, I heard that. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Uh, and I explained also said to them, it seems like you got us before anybody else could. And they smiled and laughed at that because... And I tried to ask them, you know, what, what could have happened and maybe if somebody got a hand, hands on us that was ill-intentioned. Just like they had said, they want people were wanting to lynch us. Um, which is, seems to be a very strange thing. But they're, they're all around there, so they're watching for this kind of thing. They're not gonna, yeah, yeah. But the thing is that it's, it's, a, it's bad publicity. It's bad. Yeah. It looks bad for every, uh, all. So um, they're, they're trying to steer the, their public environment away from altercations like that. Yes. The, and so police are definitely hanging around mosques and major squares and big areas like that in order to protect people from situations like that because there are some heavily highly devout islamic people in those areas and there are tourists who don't know have no idea what you know that it's i don't know that it's immoral to dance in front of a mosque um, i i'm very attracted to dancing and singing in front of mosques by the way um yeah i find them to be extraordinarily um wonderful creations and um, beautiful shapes, um, beautiful. Um, and for me, that is the epitome of, 
um, expressing my own beauty in, in relation to it. Um, and I felt, I feel very um, inspired by that. Yes, they're beautiful. These beautiful. big domes and these absolutely beautiful tall spiraling towers and, and there's hundreds of them all over the city. They're just incredible, beautiful um, things. And the irony is that what we're doing is such a clear divine expression of self. You know, it's it's not an e it's not an ego thing. It's not a it's not a religious thing. And I remember them asking that. You know, is this religious? You know, why are you dressed like this? It's because we're artists. We're creative. We're expressing ourselves. That it's, you know, one doesn't want to say more or less divine than, than anything else. But, you know, there is a lot of corruption and and fucked up in this around religions, and um, especially around Islamic extreme kind of things and us being within that kind of context and the christians are yeah. extreme too yeah. I mean, it's all the, all the religions have their extremists and their their way of behaving towards others is to destroy them yes to destroy and and in middle eastern countries it's very much i was reading about it um that it's very much kill anyone who is not anyone who suggests homosexuality or suggests queerness would be killed and thrown off a roof so we're not going to be going to any of those countries and it's it are definitely my they already were responding to me um but then i then my moonwalk dance was seems like it was quite um was quite a travesty <laughs> now that I travesty. would think of. And uh, I remember starting to do that um, when um, for a, a play I was in, and I also because Michael Jackson did it, and I, uh, you know, I did a few things in inspiration of Michael Jackson. Yeah. Um, so it was. Uh, yeah. Interesting. It was so beautiful. The whole thing was just beautiful, and and. Unfortunately, and for our own protection, the police made me delete everything that I'd filmed, including all the dancing we'd done, all the film I'd got of them taking us away, um, talking to us in the station, they made me delete everything. So, And I was not resistant to that because I knew that it was for our own protection. And there's a witness of that deletion. Yes. It was important to they, so that they could tell so, somebody else that whoever it is that they needed to tell that that was done because yes. they were concerned. Yes, because they don't want people, they don't want people seeing that happening. They don't want, it makes the country look bad. I understand that. And I have no desire to be disrespectful of people's religions. Um, I may not agree with the extremist views of any religion uh, and don't think it's just or right to stop two beautiful beings from dancing in the middle of a public square weren't hurting anyone but you know if it is immoral to people and they feel like it's being disrespectful but they i think they took it a certain way that mm -hmm. that's not what we were doing so i um my my inner strength that it took to yeah. hold myself from um unleashing myself on this guy who was screaming at us after we danced uh, through the calming myself down to go with this guy uh, caused me to have a, a very large um, I, I could almost say it's like yeah, when one is has done a strenuous thing it's tiring and it really tired me out uh, yes. I feel better now uh, but I still um, I still had to hold down this volcanic energy that is me and it is volcanic um i could i i can in my own imagination and how i can see a bifurcation i can see a younger being turning to this guy and just turning into my full superpower voice and just um would have could it would have created you might have gotten killed yeah i yeah. might have gotten killed you might have gotten killed or there would have been a mob or something happening uh, me just responding the way I did, where I was 
responding like, you've got to be kidding me, um, made them more angry. Um, and it was, it was pretty scary when I could hear loud voices following us. You know, I was hoping, I was really hoping that by us walking away, that they would leave us alone. And I was really like, shit, once we were surrounded, because I was thinking we were being surrounded by the wrong people. Yeah, I, I, that, I agree. I also felt that. Um, and but I, that's also when I uh, no, looked and saw, saw the uniforms. Yes, we looked, turned around, and yeah. And I scanned all the people that we were. That's a warrior nature in me is to see what the forces against us are. Right, and you being able to acknowledge that we were outnumbered and there was no way for us to fight what was happening, and say we just need to go with this. You know, I was not in that state. I was very much afraid. I was ready to scream. I was ready to cry. I'm very proud of myself for not making a big fuss. The thing, the thing for me that was so interesting, was so sh shocking for me, was the act of initially these men felt felt like enemies. They felt like they were going to definitely kill us, or they were going to do something really bad to us. They were going to fine us. They were going to do something horrible to us and take us, us. Yeah, and put us in jail or something, and. It, was the, it felt like it was like the end of our lives. Like, oh shit, we, you know, we'd, it, if only we'd stopped dancing and we'd left sooner. Um, so that feeling of that, that extreme fear and my heart palpitating and feeling so afraid um, to being in the station and sitting with them and them writing and saying, you're not under arrest and you're not being detained. We're just protecting you because you could have been killed for for dancing in that area just was like such an extreme like oh these people who i thought were gonna harm us are actually our protectors and it was the people over there back there who wanted to do us some major damage if they could have and it's possible that they were saying, lynch them, or saying any number of things that they were going to do to us that we didn't couldn't understand. Yeah, well, we would have heard it on the video if we heard the video. Yes. We would have been able to find a translation of that. And sure, it was something very violent sounding. Yes, because the police, the police were quite specific about what they explained in the translating experience of if we didn't take you away when we did, these people wanted to lynch you. So it's not, I don't feel like they were kind of coming up with that. It was probably they were hearing people say that. And they were seeing possibly a mob beginning to gather and uh, people wanting to take us away and hearing people yelling that they wanted to lynch us. Well, they definitely are all over the place there. You know. yeah. There, um, that's one. Of, that's one of the reasons there's a police station there. That's why they have undercover in the audience all the time. Yes. Uh, or in the uh, populace, they're they're watching for things of this thing nature to just protect everybody. Yes. And, uh, I appreciate that they did. Yeah, that they I, were there. I really do appreciate that they were there. In the end, cause in the end, they were very friendly, very kind. Mm -hmm. And we didn't feel afraid anymore. We actually were quite grateful that they had protected us. It, and I understand that they couldn't explain in at any time what was going on until they got us into a safe place. It was very um, imminent and it had to be done extremely quickly. Yes, and to, to realize possibly how close we were to getting ourselves killed is interesting. Because um, we don't, we 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 were quite oblivious at the time. I was I was very oblivious. I had no idea that that people behind us were wanting to kill us or something. Or just how angry people were. Yes. Because um, our experience in life is not that people get angry at us for dancing. Yes. Well, the whole experience of us expressing and is not anger yeah it's generally love and appreciation and and if they don't they just don't right and we have had a few experiences now of people being hateful towards you us 
we're expressing ourselves. Actually, yesterday during the walkabout, this man we were singing to was doing this, making the horn sign at him because probably thought you were, you know, being devilish or something. And in in um in relation to that kind of in in relation to that um um kind of thing uh we it's really important in life to really um bring one's faith to um truth yes and to hold to truth um and to really fathom truth at a on a moment to moment basis to be present with truth from a moment to moment basis and to not take um something that is what uh, um, to really always examine truth. Yes. Um, it, Socrates was killed for this reason because he was always moment to moment examining truth. Um, another being uh, um, was killed for the same reason. Um, but that's really the way uh, life should be lived because we are responsible for our moral um we're responsible for a moral state um yes and if i definitely don't want to get shot for being ourselves that's definitely not something i want to happen but it, if it happens then it happens yeah i i i can't say i don't or do i'm just um if i'm in that position uh then i'm going to die well yes I will die well. It'll be quite an amazing way to go. Yeah, I've had it come up for me a few times now. Yeah, uh, this could have been one. I mean, may be, but it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's not as big as a few of the others. Yeah, but th at the same time, I really at the same time that it was happening, I definitely felt like we had angels watching over us. I felt, you know, when I look back at my feelings, I definitely felt yes, we were surrounded by these men who had no badge and no representation of what they were, but I did feel protection, and I do feel that in general. I don't feel like we're invincible, not at all. Not at all. But I do get a sense that we are being protected, and and there is some divine something that is watching over us, and always has been. Um, because we've always been provided with what we need. We've always been given safety and in the darkest of moments that were saved. And so that was a pretty amazing experience where these men were there to protect us. We just didn't know at the time that that's what was happening. I'm gonna be processing it for a little while. Yeah, I will be because I'm still, I'm, I'm still trying to uh, uh, release the amount of strength it takes for me to hold back my volcanic energy. Yeah, it's uh, it's, and uh, well, the uh, it's really kind of a progressive thing because I held back that energy in regards to this guy, right, yelling about whatever. I mean, he was yelling too. Yep. Yeah, so it's a very similar thing. Um, there's though one doesn't understand what a person's yelling about, one understands energy in it, and this person, these people energetically were very um, angry and very demeaning and uh, hateful. Yeah. So I wasn't hateful towards them. Mm -hmm. I still am not hateful towards them. I'm, I'm in that state of innocent and not n understanding place, and I will always be. Yeah, and it is an interesting thing to not speak the language and to not to feel the energy of people who are being hateful and who are being violently feeling violent. And we've now, you've now had, you know, in the last two months, we've had that experience where another time in Bulgaria, this man came over and was being very violent in his language and we thought he was going to kill us. So, uh, or attack us and something, and do something in a broad daylight in public. I don't know how that's supposed to happen, but. But yes, I can also understand that within these cultures and these countries, uh, police do not want that to be happening in their countries because 
it would make their countries look really bad. Yeah, especially Turkey, because Turkey is a more open world than, than a lot of the other well, Muslim... Istanbul is more open. But yes, it's Tur a Turkey. Turkish... Yeah, it's a more open Islamic country than... So I don't think he said Istanbul when he was explaining it. I think he said Turkey welcomes you, wants yes. you to be here. Yes, yes, and that was very nice. It was, they were also explaining that, you know, you're not in danger here. This, the country is very welcoming towards artists and creative people, and we're happy you're here. So that was really that nice. That was nice. That was really thank nice. Thank you. Thank you. Can we remember the thank you and... In Turkish. No, <laughs> we were laughing about. We, we learned thank you and we were welcome from the police and officer. And they were cracking up at us trying to say it. They enjoyed us trying to learn. We could this. not say it. And we that's our that was our bonding moment yeah, with them. That was truly. our goodbye. Yeah. And I think they also probably were very impressed by us in the end and surprised by how kind and normal we were, and how we were like we're just creative people. We're not we're not doing anything to try and offend anyone. We're just being ourselves so i think they didn't and in the same way that we didn't understand what the fuck was going on they didn't understand what the fuck was going on so we all found a way to communicate and understand and realize that we were all on you know they were on our side um and we left on good terms and it was all fine so yes it was also funny walking out of the police station among the people who had seen us being carried away to the police station that was interesting too. Well, I yeah, we don't know who saw us, yeah. but there was a sense that these people who were passing now saw us being carried to the police station. But um, I, I you'd never know who's seeing or who's seeing that. But once uh, people started wanting to photograph us again, and then we were kind of back into our same old routine of uh, people really finding us interesting and. And wanting to photograph. Yeah, us. people wanted to give us. Yeah, we had some men come up to us and wanted to give us tea and saying, "Do you love our country?" And you know, so they're very, very keen about wanting tourists and travelers to like the country. You know, they don't want people to be feeling like this is an Islam extremist country, and Islam Islam extremist uh, Istanbul is. And it's they're they're extremists everywhere. So, and I definitely am spooked, so yeah. uh, I get I, I'm spooked uh, mostly because of, I'm so energetic and uh, now I feel uh, repressed a bit, Yeah. so I'm holding that energy and I need to release it and I don't know when that will happen. Yeah. And it's really, I mean, I, we don't know how he's going to wake up tomorrow and feel... I will wake up in a weird space. Very depressed so. about, yeah. you know, the, this whole country hates me and I can't be myself here and... I've really been encouraging you to not do that, to try and can. take take it as a perspective and not take it personally. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, won't we? Yeah. You're making us dinner. We, we can't speak to them at all in here, and this is our, our, uh, our little home... Home restaurant. away from home restaurant. <laughs> Oh, look how sweet. Yes, Thank you. Oh, sweet. Sweet. They just go out of their way to make a little simple dinner for us. <laughs> what does that mean? Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's the Grand Atur. We filmed us. Oh. <laughs> 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 <